bundle number one is a large bundle and I will read you the style description. She said, grunge meets indie sleaze meets the more rock star vibe of hysteric glamour girls. And that she liked mixing gothic with grandma and that she really loves prints. She mentioned prints like pinstripe, polka dot, leopard, and just things around that realm. And then she said, I definitely stick to neutrals and patterns and that she loves fabrics, like different types of fabrics and textures. And I like sexy and grunge most, I think, and definitely like to look a bit vampire, but without looking mall goth or too harsh. A little bit more of her style inspo, she said grunge, indie sleaze, Tumblr, hysteric glamour, Robert Cavalli, Rick Owens, Jean-Paul Gaultier, and Vintage Express type items. And then she really likes leathers, vests, feathers, leopard, cheetah print, snakes, snakeskin, silk, lace, and that she lives for contrast, like fancy with dirty and grungy type vibes, nerdy with sexy, and grandma with slut, etc. So if you can get the vibe of like a contrast mix of like prints and fabrics and just uh, silhouettes. So dream items, she mentioned leopard print pants, if I could find them, preferably in the usual brown color. Velvet would be a dream. She loves lace up pants as well. Plaid cardigan giving like sexy Velma would be precious too, she said. And that she loves hysteric glamour, loves lingerie as clothing as well, like layering uh, lingerie up as clothing. And that she really loves like grays, browns, blacks, and lots of prints and patterns, like I mentioned. The grunge and indie sleaze type vibe mixed with like Rick Owens neutrals, plus weird vintage statement items, like metallics as well. And she strictly wears like silver for her metals. Love anything that looks rusty, dirty, and muted tones of stuff too. And I think you'll be able to see that with the little mood board that I made. Another little section that I have you fill out on the style bundle form before you purchase is what an example of your dream outfit would be. And she said, basically would love to look like a dirty, tattered, romantic seduct seductress who only eats grapes and rides horses and owns peacocks. Love Galliano 90s Runway and Anna Sui. So hopefully you get that vibe from the mood board I created and let's go on with the bundle. I'll throw up a photo that it's giving me the vibe of, but in its own special way. So I have this really precious little leopard print top that's micro mesh double layer. And then it has this amazing leopard print detail in velour and then has some sparkles on the velour. It has this cute little brown tank top underneath so the body of it isn't sheer, but the long sleeve part of it is completely micro mesh and sheer with that print on it. So cute. Brand on this one is Fetish Wear. That tag is so cute. And then the cherry on top of this top is that it has this cute little built-in necktie with it. You can tie it the way I have it tied or she can tie it in a little bow, whatever she's feeling. I feel like this is such a cute little top to have in her wardrobe. And then the jacket is just giving me so much good texture and I love the big buttons that it has going on with it with the cute little collar detail as well. I feel like it'll be such a good staple for her to layer with during the fall and winter time. And it just has like all this 3D little ball texture yarn situation going on. And I just love the oversized buttons and stuff. And it was just giving me her vibe of her Pinterest board. And it goes really good with the top. Moving on to the bottoms, this is brand 22. Never heard of that, really cute. They're this velour, super awesome silver gray color and then it has some brown and uh, khaki cream colored contrast stitching all throughout and then i've layered this fur corseted o-ring belt like little waist belt with it i am in love with all the textures and patterns going on with this stuff and then the back pockets on this are really good it has those three buttons and then again with the contrast stitching and then the logo is really cool too it's like really frayed and distressed which she said she was super into. And they come down to this nice flare and they're super stretchy and comfortable too. And then I think these really cool 90s tortoise shell sunglasses will go so good with pretty much all of the looks, but I wanted to put them over here with this look because it, it, I just feel like it completes this look. And also for the bag, I will throw up the inspo that it was giving me from her Pinterest board, all these little flat studded details on it. And then along with this cool silver metallic type of band, like taupey type color with that like buckle detailing wraps all the way around. It's a suede brown with this like shimmer to it. It's such a cool little bag. 
So I feel like that will go so, so good paired with that outfit right there. And I know it'll be a good basic bag for her wardrobe. It's like a very good elevated basic. So moving on to the next outfit, she said she really liked mixing different patterns and lingerie as clothing and lace and stuff like that. And just really like loves textures, all of that jazz. So that's what all of these outfits I feel like have incorporated in with them. So here I have just this sheer micro mesh lace top, kind of has a higher neck on it. It's not a turtleneck, more of like a mock neck type situation. It'd be so perfect to style for fall. And then I have this little bralette situation paired over it. And it's actually from the brand Rampage from the early 2000s. And it's got this little slight pink hue underneath the lace. I feel like that contrast of color looks so good because she did say she was on the more muted side, but I saw that she wears pinks and kind of like more muted pinks and stuff like that. So I thought that was perfect. And then coming down to the skirt down here, um, I feel like this is going to be so good. I feel like it always would be so hot paired low waisted. It does have this double layer and, and it's like a mini skirt black down here. And then it comes to a maxi skirt with all of this chiffon ruffled micro mesh. Like, are you kidding me? And it's like super flowy. And I feel like pairing a really cool pair of printed tights. I saw on her Instagram that she has some really funky tights and like textured tights. I saw some like cheetah print tights in her pictures and stuff. So I feel like her pairing some tights for the fall and winter time with that or some leg warmers and some boots and stuff. Oh, that'll look so good with this look. And then the necklace I gave over here will look good with literally all three of these outfits right here. Moving on to her third look, I'll throw up the picture that this collar of this dress was giving me. And then also the photo that the torso of the sweater type dress was giving me the photo in her Pinterest. I am so in love with this dress. So the brand of this is Grifflin Paris. And then, like I said, that photo in her Pinterest board was giving me this neckline right here. It's kind of a boat neck. And then it just has all this nice sweater details on it. And this is like kind of mohair -y right here. And then right here on the torso. How amazing is this dress? And then you come down here and it has this nice little whimsical, asymmetrical, like shark tooth bite hem with the lettuce trim. And it's just so flowy and fun. Just a lot of movement going on. I am so jealous of, I, I thought about keeping it for myself. It is just a little bit, like it fits me because it's super stretchy, but the hips kind of look awkward because it's so not my size. So I feel like she will absolutely adore it. So I'm, I'm gonna give it to her. And then we're moving on to the bonus look, which is this Anna Sui top and this really cool little midi skirt. Awesome forest muted green with all these pleats in it. And in between the pleats, it has this micro mesh going on moving to the top i found this gorgeous lace detailed anna sui top literally anna sui and that's like one of the 90s runways she said she was really inspired by so i literally gasped and it's like this eyelet lace type of like situation i don't even know here's the tag i almost didn't see it because it's so black but there it is. And I just love the texture that it gives. And I think this awesome little vintage style necklace will go so good with almost all of the looks. And it's this really gorgeous blue gemstone with all this detail on the neckline as well. It's really deep, almost black. So I feel like that will be really good to fill up the neckline area with this strapless moment. And then I feel like it'll go so good with these other two options. So that is the finished bundle. I'm packing it up. Got to write the styling letter and then it'll be going out in the morning. So the second bundle we have is a mini mix bundle, which comes with four items, which is a mix of different things. It could be like tops, bottoms, accessories, like a mix of all that. Or I could give you like more tops than bottoms, just depending on what you give me. I just, it's a more affordable option than having like fully styled outfits that are the more higher price range. So if you're wanting to try out one of my bundles, but don't want to commit to like one of the higher priced small or large bundles, the mini mix is $60 plus shipping. So um, that'd be a good way to just try out a style bundle, especially for me if you wanted to at a lower budget ticket, you know what I mean? 
So I could either get you a fully styled fit if it works out like that for the mini mix, or it might just be for really good statement pieces that you've been wanting that give me your vibe from what you told me on your little uh, style bundle form. So just depends on every bundle, it will be different. So this one is an example of a dark hippie slash fairy grunge mixed with trashy Y2K type bundle. And I went more on the dark hippie fairy grunge type vibe for this one because that was the pieces that I found that I think she will really like, like she was mentioning in her likes and everything. So I think she'll be happy with that. This is a more tricky one. She is a 32 bust, but she is a size H cup size so that means that i have to keep in mind that she is a smaller waist and a smaller type build but she's got big boobs so i have to make sure that tops i get fit her bit to pit exactly so it can and that they're a little bit more stretchy material as well so that they can accommodate her bust as best as possible so her bust all the way around essentially is a 39 inch. So I definitely had to keep that in mind when searching for her tops. Her style inspo section she gave me was whimsy goth, fairy grunge, Stevie Nicks, Ren Fair fashion, and a touch of 2002 Avril Lavigne and Taylor Momsen. And then her dream items were detailed bell sleeve or tie front witchy style top, preferably in an earthy green, purple, brown, or black color and would also love a green or brown oversized grandpa sweater and a fairy core embroidered embellished maxi skirt or a black or denim waistcoat type vest deal that's giving like a very early 2000s grungy type vibe. She also mentioned that she loves corsets, bustiers that are adjustable and lace up to accommodate her chest. Another section that you can fill out as well on the style bundle thing is your don't want section if you're kind of picky or like have very specific stuff you don't want. Um, she said knee length skirts, capris are in the don't want section, three fourth quarter length sleeves. And she said she had enough jeans and black maxi skirts, but if something is super detailed and fits the vibe, then that would be fine and that'd be awesome. She could accept one of those again. Color likes are earthy greens, purples, reds, browns, burnt orange, lavender, and blacks. So really just earthy, more muted tones and a more whimsy gothic type of color palette. And she said she didn't really wear beige yellow or neons and navy blue so the mini mix bundle comes with four solid items styled or not styled so they could be just stuff i want to add to your closet that just goes with your theme really well or they might just work out that they are styled together you know what i mean so i feel like this outfit could work together and then this outfit could work together if she just added her own top up underneath this cute little shrug you know what I mean? So then I feel like this sweater could go with the skirt because of the jewel tone greens with that. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so the first item, she did say that she had a lot of black skirts, but if it fit the theme that like with the bedazzledness and all that kind of stuff with the boho fairy core that she was wanting, then that would be fine, which I thought this did. And it's so big and flowy, as you can see with that nice cinched in waistband that is adjustable and it has all of this really cool metallic and jewel tone details in the sequins it's like this green and blue that i know she's really into and then this like texture throughout with the embroidery and then it's got like this metallic tinselly situation on the tiers and then again with the sequins but i'm just in love with this skirt and it just totally gives me her vibe and it'll fit her perfectly so I think she will love it. And all of this detail does wrap around to the back of it as well. And for this top, look how gorgeous it is. It has some uh, bell sleeve detail and it also does like this split situation too. So it's like super flared and flowy. And then it's this velour paisley print on it. And it's like that super vampy, like blood red burgundy going on. And it is vintage and it has that nice cinched bust area. But I think it'll be good because it's super stretchy. It fits her pit to pit. Sorry, the lighting is going crazy. I think it'll fit her pit to pit really good. Like I said, she's a 32H bust. So she has a smaller build, but she does have a bigger chest. So I got to keep that in mind. But this does stretch really good to her pit to pit and everything. So I think this will work out really well. It's coming a little bit lighter on camera because of the lighting. But it's this nice darker muted green. It's kind of showing. Like that's more of the color of it. 
And it's also got a drawstring waistband in it. And it's got the nice little flowy tiers as well. It's a nice basic that she can like style up with different accessories and tops and stuff like that. And then again, with the like slight flared bell sleeves on this little shrug top. I think that's what they're called. She said she wanted like a witchy tie front top and this is a little tie front top so she can adjust it to her. And I feel like a really cute little tank top or t-shirt, little baby tee um, type vibe that gives like the whimsical vibe like of that skirt and everything underneath. This will go so good. And then she could even find like a chain belt or like a uh, crochet type little thing to layer over this. I don't know, there's so many options with a good basic. I feel like these items are gonna be really good elevated basics for her like boho, witchy, whimsical closet. You know what I mean? And this does have some metallic like detail in it as well. Another one of her dream items she said, other than like the bedazzled skirts and those tops, was a grandpa oversized sweater. And she said she wanted it in either like a muted brown or green color, which here we are, this nice ribbed, really muted green color. And then it's got these really tiny little threaded speckles of other colors. It's so subtle, you almost can't see it. But I think that gives a really nice, like, little girly, whimsical detail to it without being too noticeable. And then I did add in three accessories. I gave her this really cute, just basic little peace sign on a corded chain that she can layer up with so many things. Or she can even put this charm on anything she wants. And then I have this gorgeous, layered, boho, super, like, whimsical vibe beaded necklace. How gorgeous is that? It's like three different string tiers. And then it just has all this gorgeous bead work on it. I think that'll go so good with that top and this top. And then another little accessory I threw in was this uh, chain, this corded chain with this fake little green gemstone on it. I think that'll be cute to add to her closet as well. There's one last look. That one's going out in the morning as well. So this is an example of a small bundle and her theme was 90 skater, cyber, raver. And then she said that she just made up like alien core, like on the spot. Dream items were Jinkos or similar jeans or jorts, clothes with skater patches. And she said, think flame head. And then she said also cool jackets and outerwear, sporty and utility skirts, cyber stuff, layered long sleeves chains and nylon belts, anything alien related. She did not want Happy Bunny, Bobby Jack, Super Micro Minis, Animal Prints, anything too Y2K. Also not a big fan of the more gothic side of 90s grunge. Her color likes were red and blues are her favorites, but really anything goes. She didn't give me anything that she disliked besides wearing yellow. For her little like style inspo section, she said, I get most of my style inspo from 90s cartoons, old adult swim. Think MTV's Downtown, Mission Hill, Ed, Ed and Eddie, Daria, Clerks, the animated series, etc. I love character designs with big old baggy jeans and tiny tops. I want that cartoon character silhouette, you know? Like, just look up Jessie from Undergrads 2001. I need her vibe so bad. Tiny top big baggy cargo rave type pants. The Delias and Alloy magazines were also a big inspiration, she said, and she said she's not opposed to like a 90s Clueless inspired look for work. Her dream outfit section would be a kickwear slash breakdown slash Jinko bug girl pants with a baby tee and chunky sneakers, quintessential 90s skater fit, maybe a matching jacket because she has no fall clothes. For her first look here, we went very that cartoon silhouette she was looking for with the baggy pants and the little top. And in her description she gave me, she said she was looking for like rave cargo type pants, like bug girl and kickwear and stuff like that. And these pants just so happened to be bug girl branded. I found them right before she ordered her bundle. It was meant to be. So down here, as you can see, it can come out to a more wide leg here, or you can cinch it in with the drawstring right there. And it just gives a whole different vibe. And then it has all these pink little drawstrings throughout with this reflective situation with it it's such a good pair of pants and then she can cinch it into her waist because she is really tiny but once they cinch in like that they do fit her waist which is i was so happy about here is that amazing bug girl tag i could not believe it because these pants were over there in the uh like nursing and scrub section so i guess someone thought these were like scrub pants or something which i could see someone who wouldn't know about this type of style would think so but oh my god such a steal I know she's gonna love them. 
And then I found this amazing 90s era fashion bug, little button up, short sleeve collar, like kind of like going out clubbing type top, or it could be worn as a casual wear as well. And I just love the print going on with it. It reminded me of so much stuff going on on her Pinterest board and the vibe she gave me of the clothes that she already has. And the light pink details just go so good with the light pink in the pants. Here is that graphic just a little bit closer. Here's that amazing fashion bug tag. And then along with this outfit, I thought it'd be really cute to pair this super plushy, fuzzy, um, little vest, a little zip up vest that she could style for the fall and winter time because she said that she was looking for more utility and outer type wear like this. And I saw a lot of this type of silhouette of stuff in her likes and Pinterest and everything. So I thought it'd be great. Just, it's such a little fuzzy kind of baby pink color. It's not really coming on camera that color, but it's like a nice plushy baby pink. And I think that'd be such a good little layer to put on top of this. And it would definitely add to that cartoon type silhouette she was talking about too. She said she was open to like skirts and stuff like that if they weren't too many because she likes like the clueless type of vibe, like the 90s clueless vibe too. So I thought this kind of gave me that mixed with her more like raver alien 90s vibe too. So I have this cute fitted short sleeve 90s top with these really cool swirls on the front and back. And then in the lines, it is like semi sheer, but when you wear it, you can't see through it. It's just like a really cool piece with different texture and the patterns and everything that was giving me such her vibe. This denim skirt, I think is like a reworked piece or something. I'm not sure, cause there's not like a brand tag on it, but it has the little button fly situation down here at the bottom as well, where you can zip it or unzip it to have that little uh, slit in it. So cute. The only thing that's like branding wise that I can see is this little logo right here, but there's no like lettering on it or anything. So I can't tell what it is. Just a really cool little denim skirt. It definitely gives me 90s vibes. And then this is the back of it. It just has one pocket, super cute. And then it does have this little slit on the back here as well. And then she mentioned liking nylon type of belts and like PVC and stuff like that. So I thought this one would be perfect. It's got that like white nylon on it, but then it's also just this like black material like canvas material i just thought that went so good with the vibe of this outfit and she can obviously style that in so so many different ways with so many outfits and i paired these really cute pepsi little soda can earrings for this look because i thought it just went really good with the black and white vibes adding that little bit of navy blue in there and it just gives me a, such a 90s vibe because everyone in the 90s was wearing like cutesy little earrings and weird stuff like that. I have this cute little black corded bracelet with these three little metal charms on it, like a little horseshoe, a sad face, and some lips. Gave me like very mid 90s vibes. Her last look option, I found this amazing little mini slash midi dress. And it is a kid section dress, but she's so small that it'll fit her perfectly and it's super stretchy, definitely from the 90s. And it's got this iridescent shooting star print and glitter all over it. If you know, you know. This is from the 90s. I used to have so many things in this type of print, like this black stretchy material with these iridescent little glitter things on them. I don't even know what to call this because it's like not really glitter, but you can see it gives me like skating rink floor vibes. And she said she loves like everything alien vibe. So this gave me like a space vibe that like an alien would wear. Um, so yeah, I just thought that'd be perfect. And I feel like it'd be really cute if she styled like some colored tights underneath it. You just got really cute and funky with it. And then for an extra option, I wanted to give her this limited to utility uh, zip vest with the bungee cords, just like the pants. She was looking for more utility type items and just really cool, like certain types of outerwear. And I just feel like this is a really good statement piece that she can style so many different ways um, a lot of times during the year. So I just wanted to give her a little extra option. And I feel like that could also be cute paired and layered over this look option too. Add that fun pop of color to this more neutral outfit. So this was a large bundle and the theme was 90s, 2000s grunge with a mix of a different, a little bit of style. And that mix I think is like a little bit of um, elevated basics um like model off duty type vibes you'll see that with the board i've created from her pinterest her dream items was a skirt long or short a leather studded bracelet and an oversized leather jacket or a longer afghan style coat or penny lane vibe you know what i mean i don't really need any high-waisted pants but i do need mid to low-rise pants her color likes were black, white, pink, red, burgundy, purple, gray, green, and blue. 
color dislikes, orange, neon green, and yellow. Her style inspos were me, early 2000s Megan Fox, early 2000s Devin Aoki, Gabrielle, and 90s Drew Barrymore. So for the first look, I have this boat neck off the shoulder, just plain black top because I saw so much of that in her Pinterest board. So many outfits with a plain black top like that with the boat neck situation with jeans and skirts. So I know she'll appreciate that. And it has this cute little like uh, stitching detail. It just is a very nice basic to have in her wardrobe with the style that she's going for. And then these DKNY really cool like faded kind of grungy style jeans that come down to this boot cut flare and then on the back here it has this really cute pocket detail with the kind of like angel wing vibe going on for the necklace i gave her this little pendant with the black flower on it, it gives me very much like a 90s vibe and it's on this black cord that she can also untie up there and do like a choker situation and do like a double tied situation with the cord. If you catch my drift, I think that would be really cute with this. And then I'm throwing in these silver 90s shades. I'm not sure on the brand of these, but they are really cool and they go with all of the looks. For her second look option, oh my God, I'm in love with this dollhouse coat fur trimmed. I saw a similar coat that I probably already showed you in the bundle little like breakdown section. Um, that looks very similar to this with the colors and the fur trim and everything. And she said she was wanting like this or a leather jacket. So, so glad I found this in this color. And then I have this express micro mesh ruffled tank top that's good for layering. And then it'll be great for the warmer months too. On the back, it's this lace. And then I paired this white, kind of white clearish rosary because I saw a lot of like cross details on necklaces in her Pinterest board. I also saw so much pinstripe detailing on her Pinterest boards, and she said she was looking for either a short or long skirt. So I came up on this short pinstripe skirt in her size. It's a vintage brand it's from the 90s, or early 2000s wrapper. Nice stretchy skirt and this like textured pinstripe, and then it has this cute little faux slit detail here in the front. And then pairing some like opaque or even see-through black sheer tights with that look would be so cute and all of these tops could also be interchangeable with this skirt and jacket combo like that shirt with this that shirt with this any of those tops, and then any shirt she probably already has for another accessory i have this really shiny patent leather detailed like alligator-ish skin looking vibe with the silver d-ring like going out shoulder bag that's how it looks on the back and then it's just really cute. It gives me her vibe. I saw a lot of little Y2K vibe bags like that. And black was very much the theme. I thought this would be a fun little casual going out moment, like going out with the girls. So like a fun casual going out top, this old 2000s wet seal with that O-ring detail, cute little strapless fitted moment, kind of with that like bubble cinching right there. And then I feel like that bag would go so good because of the silver hardware details in both of them. And then these LEI jeans that used to be mine when I was a preteen, actually, I had them saved in storage and they're in such good condition and they give me her vibe. So those are the pockets on the front. And then they also have the same type of pockets on the back. And then for another layer with that, I think this black crocheted top would go so good over that, or she could style it however she wants, but as a good little layer for just going out, it would be really cute. And then she could pair the statement jacket on top of those layered up. If you get the vibe, I think you get the vibe. Another extra top I'm throwing in that I think would go really good with these jeans or those jeans over there and the coat. Really, the coat will go with everything. And this gives me the same vibe as the bag because it's more of like a snakeskin, alligator skin type vibe too. And it looks like a leather, but it's not. It like has a kind of a wet look to it. I'll show you up close. But it's a little fun, very like lightweight, stretchy, fun button up. It could be office wear or clubbing wear. You could button up a few of the buttons or have it open, button it up all the way. There's many options with this. Here is how it looks up close. See how, what I mean by it looking like it's leather, but it's such a soft, non-weird material. And then that is the brand. And then I did see a lot of the crochet type vibes in her Pinterest board too. So I wanted to give her another option for that. So it's kind of like a mini dress 
depending on how you wear it, or it could be just like a long sweater. And it's got these nice little like semi belled sleeves, kind of flared. And it's just a nice little cream crochet moment. It's see-through, so it'd be really cute, honestly, to style like over that outfit or that outfit, to be honest, and then having that coat over it. Or she could style like a slip dress up underneath it. That'd be really cute too. And then for her final item, I saw a few dresses in her Pinterest board by Gabriette that she was wearing in this silhouette. And then again, a lot of pinstripe I was seeing. So I found this really gorgeous vintage pinstripe, very silhouette hugging, very stretchy fitted dress. Could again be office wear or like going out sexy vibes. Her waist is gonna be so snatched in this. Here is another large bundle going out, probably in the morning. I'm just gonna pack it up and write the styling letter now. Let me know what you thought about this one. I'm in love with this style. So this is another example of a mini mix bundle. The theme was 90s Y2K grunge skater. And she said that the dream items were extremely baggy pants or jorts, Jinko, South Pole, Silver Tab, that kind of vibe. If you know those brands, you'll get the vibe of that. Baggy tees, and in parentheses, she put cyber and tribal prints, like affliction, all over prints, new metal style tees, and hoodies. Her don't wants were skirts. She said her color likes were black and muted colors, but she also added that pops of different colors and shirt designs are okay if it's like a smaller design. So probably like how I have right now that this is more brighter on the sleeves, but it's basically, you know, like black all over. Color dislikes were white and bright colored shirts, like blue, green, red, etc. Also just like the color gold. Also mentioned that she really likes tattered, grungy, and distressed clothing too. So I did find her some really baggy South Pole branded dark wash, almost black jeans. And she said the baggier the better. And these are a size 38. And she said she wears a size 34 to 36, but they weren't too, too big for her measurements, just the perfect bagginess. So I went ahead and threw in this grommet belt that she can style with all of the looks. So this more muted toned camo crossbody. This shirt is so cool because it's a double layered, like long sleeve under short sleeve situation. And it is a thermal, so it'll be great for when it gets colder. Love that cross detail. It's definitely giving me her vibe. And then there is a back to it too. It's even bigger with some wings and like a crown on the back. It's just giving me the vibe overall. Same with this one. This one is also a thermal material, perfect for the colder weather. And it's got the crosses and skulls all over it, just like all of the stuff you saw in the example photos. This one's not a thermal, it's more of a lightweight long sleeve material and it has a hood on it. It's super cool, perfect to layer with like a jacket or something that doesn't have a hood. It's got that like subtle black graphic down there with some uh, black striping if you can see it. And then that cross with the wing detail. And she said she wasn't a big fan of red unless it was like a small detail in another graphic on a shirt. So that's why I figured that she would be cool with this one. And I feel like all of these tops pair perfectly with the jeans. And I feel like she could really pair any type of top with these baggy jeans. Here's what the back pockets look like. It has that South Pole branding right there. So there is the mini mix. I hope she loves it.